Los Angeles, California. This is the LA Coliseum, one of the world's most famous sports venues. It's hosted two Olympics, the World Series, the Super Bowl, and the World Cup. And come 2009, it will also be home to the top recruit in the nation. He's quarterback Matt Barkley of nearby Modern Day High School. This is Matt Barkley, unplugged. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful. He's completely in tune, musically, in football, and in life. It's easy to see why the quarterback from Modern Day High School in California is everything you would want in a band member and a quarterback. Barkley, play action. There's it out deep across the middle. Carlo Valdez has it at the 45. This is a good release from football for you, I'd imagine, being able to, to come here and, and really express yourself musically, right? Yeah, it helps just to relax you every once in a while and uh, or release tension. <laughs> If there's ever any tension in Matt Barkley's life, he sure doesn't show it. Whether it's playing gospel tunes, acing a test, or throwing deep for a touchdown, Barkley hits all the right notes in every facet of his life. He's the proverbial complete package and the runaway choice as the top high school football player in the nation. Nothing phases him. Nothing phases him. And now, in the middle of that, you start to get to know him, and that's when I realized, you know what, it's all about his faith. Barclay's faith comes out in his music, and the faith that Modern Day has in its star quarterback comes out every Friday night. Barclay, deep down the middle, he's got his cousin Hoyer. The six foot four, 225 pound senior is one of the finest athletes to ever play for the prestigious program. Last season, he threw for more than 3,500 yards, to go along with 35 touchdowns. At the end of the year, Barkley was the first junior to ever win the Gatorade National Player of the Year Award. He also took home the inaugural Joe Montana Award as the nation's top prep quarterback. It was all kind of all at once, you know, all this stuff. Uh, but yeah, the Gatorade, the company, and it was, that award was, uh, I'll never forget that, uh, what, they, what they did. And, uh, the Joe Montana Award, getting to meet him and uh, Mr. DeBarlo, you know, from the 49ers, and um, it, it was it was really awesome. You know, it's funny because half those awards I'd never heard of. I didn't even know they had that many awards. The Trophy Hall was the vindication of a groundbreaking football journey. He grew up idolizing the great NFL quarterbacks of the 90s and first played organized football as a chubby sixth grader. Now, Barkley is on pace to start more games than any signal caller in modern day history. He's been leading the Monarchs since he was a 14-year-old freshman, becoming just the second freshman signal caller in the last 30 years at modern day. We had uh, a meeting with uh, Coach Rollinson and our, our offense coordinator, Dave Money, uh, the week before uh, the first game in that 05 season. They brought three of us in, three quarterbacks who were uh, vying for the job, and. They told me I was a starter, and I was I was so surprised, and I was I was so happy at the same time. Though it was a dream come true um, to be able to to play that first game as a freshman it was really overwhelming, but uh, it was awesome. When he was a freshman and sophomore, you know, I probably was uh, I set the standards high for everybody, and I, I I was pretty tough on him. His freshman year was a was a was a tough year. He had a lot of honors classes that he was taking, and, and learning a complex offense like modern day um, plays was, was difficult, but he was very dedicated to it. He spent a lot of hours in the, in the film room, and um, he was blessed to be given the opportunity. Barkley quickly adjusted on and off the field. Modern day is one of the most strenuous academic schools in Southern California, but it should come as no surprise that Barkley also puts up big numbers in the classroom or he has a 3.9 grade point average. Love school. He loves to study. He's curious. He's, he's interested in everything. There's not enough hours in the day for everything he would want to do with his life. He loves golf. He's fascinated by politics, by the world. Academics I take just as important as, as uh, athletics. And, um, you know, God gave me a brain, and so I plan to use that to its, uh, 
the best ability, and uh, I don't mind, you know, learning. It's not a bad thing. With his combination of arm strength, smarts, and Southern California roots, one college program was a natural fit for Barkley. Next year, he'll head north on the 405 to play for Pete Carroll and the Southern Cal Trojans. At USC, he'll be following in the footsteps of another former modern day quarterback, Heisman Trophy winner, Matt Leinart. His commitment to USC came in January of his junior year, and it came in trademark, Barkley understated fashion. He goes, I don't want any hoopla. What are the minimum number of people we have to tell? I said, well, let's start with your parents, okay? He goes, well, I already told them. I said, good, good. So we told the local newspaper, we told a, uh, a, an affiliate of ours that, that is also involved in Trojan football and, and in um, Max Preps, and that was it. Why did Matt do that? Because his final sentence going out of my office was, Coach, all I want to do is concentrate on weightlifting and preparation for the 2008 season. Called up uh, Coach Carroll and you know said, I want to be a Trojan, and. Uh, there were actually a bunch of coaches uh, in a van. <laughs> they were they were down for the um, I think the Senior Bowl or something. So they were all together. And they were all hooting and hollering, and uh, it was pretty fun. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm 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 way excited about going to USC. In the meantime, Barkley still has weights to lift and a senior season to play. But when it all becomes too much, the hype, the pressure, the academics, he unwinds at home with his family whether it's playing ping pong with his brother and sister or strumming his Taylor guitar, Matt Barkley is always at the top of his game. In Santa Ana, California, I'm Mike Rigg. Awesome. Good job. <laughs>